Today's episode of Film Riot's brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com forward slash Film Riot for your free trial membership. And go, Daddy. Thanks, Sam. Welcome, Ryan. Today on Film Riot, Shrink Race. In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film is made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Riot is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. Grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Riot. Listen, I am peaceful, but if you do not comply, I will have to shrink you. Unamused. Last chance to come peacefully, Ghost Cracker. Well, this just gets more and more pathetic. <laughs> Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques to go into some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. Now last week we showed you an email that requested some cheesy sci-fi effects. Right guy, I wanted to do a cheesy alien comedy, but I need to know how to do two effects for it. First is an alien ship hovering over a house, and the other is a shrink ray, but the old sci-fi cheesy kind. Thanks a bunch, Peter. If you didn't see last week's episode, go check that out because we already explained how to do this. So now, I'm going to show you how to do this. It just gets more and more pathetic. Let's go! So first things first, you need your laser gun. And since the email asks for cheesy, what's cheesier than a Nerf gun spray painted silver? Now that you have that set, the next thing you want to do is actually add the laser coming out of the gun. So to do that, the first thing you do is motion track the point where the laser is going to come out and attach that data to a null. To learn how to do that exactly, check out this episode. So all in all, I have five layers in After Effects to get this effect. First is the original footage. Then on top of that, the green glow on your actor, which will be coming off the laser. Now I made this by duplicating the original footage and tinting it green using hue saturation. Then I took the masking tool and masked out the area that the glow should be affecting. Then I just feathered and dropped the opacity to 25%. If your actor is moving around, you're gonna need to keyframe the mask for it to stay on top of him. So keep that in mind while you're shooting. The next layer is the green glow at the end of our gun's barrel. To create this, I added a new green solid, then grabbed the pen tool and masked around our gun's barrel. Now if your gun barrel is circular like ours, you can always make it a little easier by using the ellipse tool. Once you have the mask set, feather it and change the blending mode to soft light and you have your barrel glow. The next layer up is sort of a haze that the laser is emitting for a little extra atmosphere, but I'll get to how to do that in just a second. The final and top layer is the actual beam. Now to create this, make a new solid and then add particular which doesn't come with After Effects, but it's a really good investment. But you could also pull this off to a similar effect with Particle Playground, which does come with After Effects. So add Particular to your solid layer, then go to your effects panel, and the first place we're gonna start is with the emitter dropdown arrow. The first thing you're gonna see is particles slash seconds. So now in your timeline, go to the point to where you want the laser to actually start coming out of the gun, then click the stopwatch next to particles per second and set it to zero. Now move forward a few frames and set it to 850. Now go to the frame right before you want the laser to stop and set a keyframe. Then go a few more frames and set it back to zero. This will start and stop your laser. Below that is emitter type. Set that to box, then set direction to directional and set direction spread to four. Next are the X, Y, and Z rotations. You'll have to mess around with these on your own to get the angle you need. Next down is velocity, which I have set to 570. Then below that, you have the X, Y, and Z emitter size. Now again, you're gonna have to mess with these on your own to get the proper settings because it's gonna depend on how far the gun is from your camera. Next is the particle drop down arrow. For life, which is how long each particle will last on screen, set it to 6.1. Then for particle type, set it to glow sphere, no DOF. Then set sphere feather to 50 and size to 2.0. Then set the color to over life and ramp different shades of green. I also added a little cyan in the middle to mix it up. You know. It's a general electric blender that's going around. Completely new from base to lid. Take it apart, see what they did. The Nosket base is the lowest you'll ever see. The decanter has a 36 ounce blending capacity. The last thing to do in this plugin is go to physics and change the time factor to 4.6. Now add a CC vector blur and adjust its attributes till you get your desired look. Then add a glow. 
The single lullabies, I make your days bright. I bring you sweet dreams, I help you sleep tight. We're, We're all your good night friends. I use a radius of 27 and a glow intensity of two. Now turn on the motion blur for your project and then turn it on for all your individual layers. Now to create the atmosphere, just duplicate the laser layer, change the directional spread to 20, add a Gaussian blur and set that to 42. Finally, parent all your solid layers to the null, make sure all the motion blurs are turned on and... A cheesy shrinking laser beam. Next up, how to shrink a toy. But first, let my sponsor holla at you, boo. Looking to drive viewers to your video content? Well then get a .tv domain name and stand out from the crowd. .tv domain names are perfect for podcasters, video bloggers, anyone with something to say. And they're available now at GoDaddy.com. Also be sure to check out Revision3.com forward slash GoDaddy for all the Film Riot GoDaddy deals and codes. Logo. Well this just gets more and more pathetic. <laughs> To shrink the toy, I had four layers in After Effects. The first one was my clean plate. First was the clean plate of my scene. Next, the reflection. Above that is the toy. And finally, a glowing layer. So first, drop your clean plate into the timeline. Above that, the shot of your toy in frame. Now mask out the toy and set the anchor point to the bottom center of the toy. Now just go into your transform dropdown and set a keyframe for scaling where you want the shrinking to start. Then go to where you want it to stop and scale it down till it's the size you want. Then just set Ease out for the first keyframe and Ease in for the last. Now add a glow and keyframe the intensity up as the toy shrinks and back down right before it finishes shrinking. Now to create the reflection, duplicate the main toy layer, then rotate it around and flip it and then put it below the main toy layer. Now pre-comp the reflection layer, mask around the areas that the reflection shouldn't show and then drop the opacity to about 25%. For the final layer, once again duplicate the main toy layer, then delete the glow we added from before, and add a new one. Musical glow worm, glow bug, and glow butterfly. Finally, make sure motion blur is turned on for your comp, and that all your layers are set up for motion blur as well, and... A little shrinkage occurs. Like when it's cold outside. Really? Really. Sci-fi is one of my favorite genres, and I can watch as many sci-fi movies as my little heart desires using Netflix since Netflix delivers movies directly to your home and typically one business day. Then with Watch Instantly, you can watch anything from their thousands of TV episodes and movies by streaming it directly to your Netflix-ready device like Xbox 360, PS3, and Nintendo Wii console. The best thing about Netflix is you can watch as many movies as you want without any late fees or due dates. So head over to www.netflix.com forward slash filmwrite to get your free trial membership going. And when you do, check out some of my favorite sci-fi flicks like Alien, District 9, Moon, Minority Report, Star Trek, and a ton more. And that's it for this week. But don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. And then there's the Facebook page where we do a lot of conversational sating. And if you're looking for some gear, check out the b &H Photo gear page I put together for you guys. And I'll see you next Thursday when I jump into a pit of serpents, all wielding switchblades. Me and you, and you and me. No matter how you toss the dice, it has to be. The only one for me is you, and you for me. So happy together! I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. When you're with me, baby, the skies will be blue for all my life. Do you guys really mean that? Mm -hmm.